Hello folks, just thought I'd come on and make a wee video today of uh, early present I got from my wife. Again. Again. <laughs> You're hearing in the background boys and girls. Again. So today I have got this box. It's a Stanwell and the number is model 83 so I'm going to see what this is like dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I have never I don't think smoked a Stanwell nice wee bag it comes in quite like a sulky bag get up there and this is the new pipe folks one of many one <laughs> of many as the wife says in the background mm -mm. So, I'm going to fill this up with an OTC blend we get here in the UK. Uh, I think my wife got it from me, a pouch of, it used to be called, I think, Mellow Virginia. But, special Virginia. You can get it in Tesco's here in Scotland, anywhere in the Britain, many Tesco's. So I have tried some of it already. Absolutely love it. I was actually smoking it in, bear with me. Oh, this Falcon. This is a new, well, bowl I got to go along with my uh, falcon pipe it's a wee Meersham bowl I got so I've been I've had a few smokes out of it and I've been smoking it with a special Virginia uh, so I'm just gonna fill this bowl up just now for its first smoke now I don't know about a lot of you lads that smoke a pipe out there but me personally I just tend to not half fill the bowl or break it in gently I just tend to fill the bowl up and smoke it I think I heard is it Briar Blues it's in a video of him once and he just says I heard the breaking in of if you're breaking in a pipe, she says just fill it and smoke it. So that's what I'm going to do. It's here not to be looked at and admired, but to be smoked. And smoke she's getting boys and girls. Mm. Now can't read quite read the writing on because I haven't got my new glasses through yet but uh, from what I've tasted uh, to me anyway I'm not like one of these fancy connoisseurs but from what I've tasted to me it's quite a caramelly sweetish note of it that's like a slight peppery spiciness just when you put the, the first light on here goes It's 
the first. Just the light there. I've seen this, uh, I think it was red coats. I was watching a video of him the other day and I seen him with a, a Sherlock Holmes lighter. Now I spotted one for myself and uh, I think I'm thinking of getting it today. It's a Zippo and it's kind of got an imprint on it that's it's not like it's like stuck on or drawn on but it's like an imprint like that like my Robbie Burns tamper old Robbie so I was thinking of getting that I have a lighter here it's it's actually very good lighter it's uh, a Mr. Brog it's got the tamper at the bottom and uh, it's quite a good beer lighter if I can get this tamper out as uh, yes, you can see it's got a wee tamper at the bottom there you know tamp is doing your tobacco but uh, yeah I was smoking Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm a very lucky man, me. You see, the thing is, I don't have to sit in a shed or go somewhere else. I can sit in actually my house with my wife because she likes the smell of tobacco. She likes the different tobaccos that I smoke. She likes it herself. She'll have a blast from now and again when she fancies it. Believe it or not, my neighbour next door came in here and she was looking at my pipes. Now she's only a young lassie. She's only in her thirties. But she kept, she comes in now and again to me and the wife. Cup of tea and a natter. So she said, uh, I said, you want a shot of one of my pipes? Because she smokes cigarettes. And uh, off she went, you know, she's dry, gets a shot. So uh, she went around smelling all the different kinds of tobaccos and uh, she came to it three, uh, you know, some Alspo Black Vanilla and uh, she liked that one, so I stuffed the pipe up for her and I showed her how to, what to do. Mm -hmm. And away she went. Yeah, she was smoking away on the pipe. She quite liked it, so it was it was quite cool actually, you know, because she's only she's only young, and uh, I didn't think she'd be one to try her pipe but she'll, yeah she quite quite likes it so the wife I know she enjoys it she was just a pure natural and uh, so that's the lassie next door she likes smoking the pipe too so we can all now sit in the house sometimes and have a, a wee blast on the, the pipes but this 
my wife got it and uh, she's also ordered another one i don't know which one it is to tell you the truth in a she said she'll tell me in a second Hmm. It's a Stan, an, another Stanwell Amber Light model 139. Scroll down a wee bit and you get the whole picture. That one there, boys and girls. I don't know what. Oh, it's quite. The light is a lot difficult. Sorry if I. Oh. Can you see it? You can, I hope you can see that. Yeah, it's fine. She's ordered me that one. <laughs> That's for my Christmas. One that you're not getting. One that early. I'm not. One that I'm not getting early. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so. But I have been smoking a lot of the uh, twists, the the black twist, and the brown twist a lot these days. That's what I notice about is lighter sometimes. I don't know. Sometimes the flame is normal, and then there are times it just shoots out of me. Mm Lovely that. Nice and cool, the Mellow Virginia. Special Virginia, sorry. I hate the pictures that's on it with the all the stuff they put on it. But it really is a for an over-the-counter blend. Mmm. magnificent tobacco it's uh, you know we're quite lucky here we can get uh, just in the shop we can walk in and we can get some Bruno ready rubbed and uh, Condor Special Virginia Gold Block uh, Clan and what keen on mm. Mm -hmm. This seems to be, at the moment, I can't remember which number it is. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's Peterson Pipes, a sitter. I smoked this one. Quite a bit. I seem to be smoking this one quite a bit. It's the last few days. Been giving that a good smoke along with the uh, Falcon. I like these pipes that just sit and hang there. I think we'll be smoking some of this later on. Balkan mixture will be that smoke. I just ordered some more tobacco today. Yeah, Iris, uh, Jew, 
is it Irish? Do you think full body flavour? And uh, what was the other one I ordered? Irish U. I Royal Ensign or something. Royal Ensign. En Ensign is it or Ensign? Ordered some of that. So I smoked that before. I quite liked that. Can anyone tell me where to get some more? Walter Raleigh, because I can't, I can't, I can't seem to get any. I seen your man, uh, Red's Coats Resonance, and he had just absolutely stacks of it, and I was so jealous. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering where I can get some. Well, I got my wife one of these new uh, laptops to get, you know, it's like a laptop come tablet kind of thing. It can split up like from a tablet to a laptop. So she fancied one of them. So I got her that one of the, that's one of her Christmas presents. I got her. But yeah, I'm very chuffed with this Stanwell pipes. Extremely. Yeah. Can't be it, can you boys and girls? You know the winter nights drawing in and chair beside the fire. Just chill out, a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, and watch Sherlock Holmes movie. Just stick it on. Is that my coffee over there, Ted? Thank you, my dearest. Yep. Uh, you just stick a nice Sherlock Holmes movie on and in the evening time with a fire on and just chill out, especially the Basil Rathburn ones. Sit back in the recliner and smoke your pipe. Up here in the north of Scotland, the, the nights are getting really, really bitter and cold. You know, so I've got the gas on f all the time. When I've got uh, like oil heaters sticking the house, I put them on. It's like, a, it's, like my, uh, my, it's not a house I've actually got. It's just like a bungalow. That's my dog barking in the back garden. She just went out. She wants out, then she wants straight back in. Bella. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I showed you this. I think I did. The thing I keep all my 
bits and bobs in. Oh, my big pipe. And just keep bits of lighters and tampers and stuff in there. <laughs> Roger, I'm trying to fill that up. Came all the way from Australia. Oops, somebody's writing's in it. Nin 1973. Got it on eBay. Yeah, it's a great thing, the pipe. You know, you know we all smoked. Like I smoke, I smoke cigarettes, and but as I always said, I was always fascinated by the pipe from childhood. You know, just by looking at my granddad's, just just that smell and wondering what he was doing. You know, out with a pocket knife and cutting the twist. You know, and rubbing it in his hands and grinding it in his hands like that and. It always fascinated me. Then that smell you would always get. Lovely smell. Of I always remember it was twist tobacco he smoked. He'd be sitting there by the fire. My granny would be on the other side of the fire. My granny, she was in a wheelchair. She took, she took a stroke in her early early fifties. So my grandfather had quite a job in his hands, you know, after coming out of the Second World War and that. And then my granny taking a stroke in her early fifties. She was in a wheelchair, and uh, he looked after her very well. Until his, own, until his own passing. It was his late 70s when he passed away. But uh, if anybody can give me a link of where to get Sir Walter Raleigh tobacco, I'd much appreciate it, folks. So I'm going to sign off. This is a very good pipe. I'll break it in and I'm sure I'll get many, sir. Good smoke out of it, God willing. And uh, all the best to all you folks out there and YTPC. God bless you and take care of each other. Bye bye.